Since 2016, we've had a slightly mean-spirited tradition of highlighting the worst gifts you received over the holiday season. Previous submissions include Monopoly for Millennials, a Garfield meme calendar, and most recently, a robot sloth that flosses. <laughs> and none of those words are in the Bible. Which is why yesterday, I asked you to show me the worst gifts you received this past holiday season. What better way to ring in 2023 than with a deluge of gamer gifts? You'll see. I got a plastic bottle filled with free ketchup packets which expired in two days. That means your family's trying to kill you. Cool. This person got a bag of babies. No, several bags of babies actually. All shapes and colors. What a terrifying gift. What do you do with bags of babies? Call 911? My Nana got me a six pound bag of Epsom salt for Christmas. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know Nana hated you. So this person got a gamer shirt. Is it just me or does it look like it says gayer? Cause that is not an M. That's not an M in the middle. I don't I don't know how you can look at that and think, oh yeah, that's an M. All right, to be fair, this is actually a pretty based apron. This is a pretty cool gift. This is a good gift. Why are you complaining? These are the first words Chris Pratt says in that movie. <coughs> I have a cold, which is why I sound like I sound. COVID! It's not COVID. You don't know that? Cause I can taste this wine just fine. I've been chugging DayQuil for like the last week. I got the same alarm clock I got last year from a grandma. Grandma's a little confused. She thought she was buying a PS5. Give her some leeway. Here's your Nintendo. Is this the one with Mario? I don't like him, he's too fresh. Ooh, Bridget got a pillow that says, just a girl who really loves anime. And the font is in that aggressively faux Asian style. I don't know what else to call it. The font's racist, actually. No, it is, because it's very English, but like, it's written as if they're Chinese characters. It's awesome. Tom got a pretty cool gift. It's a, <laughs> it's a Kim Jong-un calendar. Hey, at least they got the year right. Many calendars on the series don't get the year right. And these are super cute photos of Kim. Him with the rose, him in the little girl's bedroom, him with that guy that lost. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, this next submission comes from Chad, co-host of the podcast Cold Ones, where several years ago they got me way too drunk. So I'm gonna take this submission with a grain of salt. This is why my father only gets a phone call twice a year. First off, I love these shirts. And Chad, I wanna believe so hard. I know it's not real, but let me believe. Like grandma believes an alarm clock is a PS5 from Nintendo. I get my attitude for my freaking awesome dad. He has a backbone made of steel and a heart made of gold. He has anger issues and serious dislike for stupid people. You hurt me and they'll never find your body. Yes, he bought me this shirt. Chad, you must now send me a picture of you in this shirt and only this shirt. The end. And send. Christmas toilet paper for the whole family. You can even remove the cover and put it on a fresh new roll. This is great. Receiving on Christmas day a Christmas toilet paper cover. Mwah. Mwah. I am a big fan of receiving Christmas gifts that are obsolete the day you get them. I love that. Love that. That's a staple of this series we've been doing for seven years now. It's not even like a good joke. I'm wishing you nothing but a merry, like that's it? That's your A-game material? This is what this show is all about. Yo, Sketchy on Twitter got a disco potty, which is the toilet nightlight. Yo, that's pretty sick. I think that's pretty sick. Wow, it detects body heat and darkness. <laughs> Much like my sleep paralysis demon. He always finds me. My favorite feature is <laughs> made of splash resistant plastic. Ew. No splash pack. What? Get it? Shut up. <laughs> she laughs loudest at her own jokes. I do, I do get it, it was pretty good. My grandma gave me this shirt. She got it on Etsy and just looked up the word anime. Oh man. What do you think that shirt looks like, honey? <laughs> Would you have guessed um, a schoolgirl drinking Arizona iced tea? Cause if you did, you'd be correct. Here you go, honey. Is this the one with Mario? You're so mean to grandma. Oh my God, I know. Grandma's very confused. You're doing your best. Grandma's not doing well. Here you go, Anthony got a loot llama tree ornament. Getting an ornament on Christmas, best gift ever. Cause you hang it up and then 24 hours later you go, Oop! There it goes. My boyfriend's mom got us this butter knife. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a butter knife. It looks like a thin spatula. Why are there features? There's a list of features. It's a butter knife. How many features does a goddamn butter knife have? Already the F tier of knives. This is a shit post of a Christmas gift. And your boyfriend's mom is trying to let you know that they don't know shit about you. So they're like, fuck it, butter knife? That's gonna be the best mother-in-law ever. <laughs> Once you take that leap. Before I continue with even worse gifts, I want to thank this video's sponsor, HelloFresh. 
Looking for an easy way to eat well and save money this year? Well, cut back on the expensive takeout and delivery and get started with HelloFresh. It's fast, easy, and affordable to whip up a restaurant-quality meal right inside your kitchen. With over 35 weekly recipes, they have the options you're looking for to help you achieve your goals. Choose calorie smart and carb smart recipes, or even customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading your proteins, or adding protein to a veggie dish. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout? And with their fast and fresh recipes, you can get dinner ready in 15 minutes. You're watching me cook bulgogi pork tenderloin, and I'm always pleasantly surprised by how easy and idiot-proof the step-by-step -step instructions are. I am not a cook, but these recipes make me feel like one. And gamers, this is a ridiculous deal. If you go to HelloFresh.com and use code JACKASKS21, you get 21 free meals and free shipping. Yeah. Why Jack asks? Because I'm asking you to support the show. Link in the description below. Again, it's hellofresh.com, code jackasks21. That is a lot of free meals. Guys, we have one of the saddest gifts ever. A chapstick themed after my high school that I graduated from in 2017. Go Glenbrook North Spartans. That's really sad. Why do they have their own chapstick? Who is buying high school branded chapstick? Who's buying high school branded merch? No, who? No, who? Maybe they're poor. Think about it. No, I don't want to think about it. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying my high school never sold merch. I'm pretty sure. I have high schoolers still. That's sad. That's sad. I was a cheerleader. I'm very proud of it. All of what you said is very sad. No, you're sad. <laughs> That's your problem, honey. You thought you were cool in high school. I knew I wasn't. I was cool in high school. Oh, see, and that, she can't let that go. It's Ooh, Kim got a Hanukkah robot. Plays your favorite Hanukkah songs and dances to the music. Hey, I've seen worse. I've seen a flossing sloth. What? Last year's worst gift, someone got a, a, a toy robot sloth and it, it flossed. It's one dance move was it, it flossed. I hate that sloths have gone mainstream. For once I'm siding with my wife. Sloths used to be cool. It's not cool if everyone and their mom likes sloths now. Oh, here we go. More gamer gifts. And this is one of the best gamer gifts I've ever seen on this series. It's a hilarious coloring book for gamers. Because if there's one thing gamers love, it's coloring. And the text in the sample pick is, that's what I do. I play video games and I know things. Get it? It's like that Game of Thrones quote, but way worse. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. I'm gonna put down the PS5 controller and pick up a crayon. <laughs> Cause that's what gamers do. Guys, we have yet another very sad gift. My mom's boyfriend got me this for Christmas. I'm 20 years old. It's a dabbing skeleton with a Santa hat. I'm really, really, really out of touch. And even I know that dabbing died five years ago. Well, that's why it's a skeleton, dummy. Oh, shit. It's funny, Erin can't even see these. Literally, she's in the other room playing Don't Starve. She just discovered Don't Starve, like a 10 year old game. She just discovered it and it's all she's been doing the last three months. What's your record, honey? How many days have you survived? 30? 30. 30 days, that's her record. Anyone beat that? Let me know in the comments below. It's her Elden Ring, by the way. I'm proud of that. Like, I know it's pathetic. Hey, admitting this is the first step. My grandmother put this in my stocking. At least she's trying to understand. And it's 365 days of prayer for depression and anxiety. It's not a bad gift. But not if you're not. It would be much funnier if you weren't experiencing depression or anxiety. <laughs> and, then, and, and then Grandma goes, here you go. You don't seem like yourself, dearie. Grandma, I'm fine. Mm, I don't know. Read the room, honey. Wow. I love this one. This one comes from Pepperoncini Enthusiast. My very, mo my very moderate grandparents got this from my conspiracy theorist great uncle. Oh. Yeah, listen to this. It's a movie about the election fraud in the 2020 election. Yikes. It's called 2000 Mules from the creators of 2016, Obama's America. Oh, so you, right off the bat, you know it's completely unbiased. It's just spitting facts. It's just the truth, okay? Facts don't care about your feelings. Oh my God. Oh, first off, deluxe edition. And then second, here's the tagline. They thought we'd never find out. Oh my God. They were wrong. Jesus Christ. No! Add 2,000 mules to our watch list. Actually, if you watch this movie, you do get put on a list. Riley got this really cool central perk sign from the show Friends. Riley has also never seen an episode of Friends in their life. So that's troubling. I hope you got this from a family member, because that just really shows the, the distance. <laughs> 
from your loved ones and you. Mom and dad were like, I don't know. Everyone likes friends. You like friends, right, Riley? God, I hope that's true. Hey, can we get some uh, gamer gifts up in here? Like glow in the dark gamer socks? Another one from grandma. Grandma strikes again. I can't wait to be a grandma. Oh my God, right? Yeah. Children, but I do want me too. I want to be a grandma too. I don't want any kids, but I want I want to be someone's grandma just so I can say, here you go, honey, glow in the dark gamer shocks. They say gamer at work, which is already just a wonderful conundrum. <laughs> Let your feet do the talking. <sighs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> the gamer socks stay on. <laughs> Fellas, if she won't let you leave on the gamer socks, don't wife her. She's not worth it. They're only five bucks. That's a pretty good deal for uh, glow in the dark socks. Oh, crafting with cat hair. I love this book. Ew. Yeah, it's a real book. You take clumps of hair from your pre-existing cat and you can knit another cat with it. Not gross at all. Yeah, your parents hate you. Your parents absolutely hate you. I don't know what to say, Lizzie. Even if you're an only child, you are not the favorite. My brother-in-law gave me a lock of his hair and a Christmas ornament with a slightly ominous note. Spell component, hair of a dungeon master, seven of 10. You should Google uh, restraining orders and how to get them. Professor Rex on Twitter got this very cool sweater and they wrote a Christmas sweater I can't wear for 12 months. And I agree with that. Uh, there's not a single month of the year that I would wear that sweater publicly, including December. A knife sharpener. I'm 19 and live with my parents, lol. I think I know what your parents are trying to say here. They're saying, hey, if you're gonna live with us this late in your life, pull your weight, make yourself useful and sharpen our kitchen knives. I'm with mom and dad on this one. Grandma. Once again, got this for me and my sisters, probably trying to tell us something. And it's a little book of 52 modern manners for today's teens. Manner number one, put down the TikTok and pick up the Bible. My mom got me a food jokes cards. I'm 25 years old. The age really seals it, it drives the point home. Includes a hundred food jokes. What is a food joke? Something about like a couch potato? What vegetable sits around playing video games all day? And then you turn the card over, a couch potato. Fuck you. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> I'm a pharmacy tech. Thanks, step uncle. And it's a water bottle that says filthy McNasty licensed drug lord. Oh my God. Yeah. I love you, drug lord. You keep me sane. No, definitely bring this to work with you. The font on this kind of makes me think your great uncle typed this in. I think this is the kind of gift that has customizable text. So your great uncle very carefully chose these words. That's my theory. Oh, here we go. Grandma strikes yet again with another epic gift. Grandma gifted this person the name the emoticon flashcard game. How does that one work? Okay, grandma, what emoji is this? That's right, it's gun. Like what, how do you play this game? How do you play the emoji flashcard game? Oh, Jesus, this next one really makes me sad on so many levels. Andrew writes, I was born in 2002 and they received millennial jokes. So funny, you'll spit out your avo toast. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know a lot of 20 year old millennials. Like, I feel like we've all moved on from avocado toast. Right? That was the big joke in like 2015, 16, when we started this series. And I use joke in like the loosest of terms. I want to predict what other epic millennial jokes are in this gift. Nobody wants to work anymore. Nobody wants to work anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Millennials are putting Applebee's out of business. That's not, that's not a joke. That's just like a fucking Buzzfeed headline from like three years ago. Like ragging on millennials has been done like that. It's not a thing anymore. Oh, and I just noticed that the packaging is adorned with little avocados. That's really, that's really funny. Cause hey, if there's one thing we millennials love, it's slapping on avocado heavily on toast. The more I look at this gift, the more I don't understand it and hate it. There are laptops and headphones on it and that's it. Those, those are the only gra- no, and, and Haas. Those are the only graphics on this gift. You know those millennials and their headphones and laptops? You know what I'm saying? This thing was designed by a round table of 95 year olds grasping at straws saying things like they're always gaming those millennials yeah my girlfriend got gifted this cursed ass monkey from her brother-in-law i don't wish for this to be in my home that's a monkey then why does it have like very horse-like features has this person ever seen a monkey or are they just guessing <laughs> Ooh, the grommet mug was out of stock so i received the grommet mug 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 and it's a mug with a picture of a mug with a picture of the grommet mug on it. That's that's actually kind of cool. Maybe cool's not the right word. <laughs> it's definitely something. Oh, okay, I'm actually jealous of 
James here. James writes, my brother got me a shirt with the Nicole Kidman AMC speech on it. Wait, that's, that's a funny gift. I would love that. I, I kind of love this shirt. I would wear the, I would wear this to every movie premiere. Are you kidding? All the premieres you're invited to? Not, okay, premiere was the wrong word. All the movies I go to. Yeah, yeah, I don't go to movie, movie premieres anymore. Anymore? I've been, yeah. Like what? How about the emoji movie? That's the only one that was like legit. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll die happy. Seeing the emoji movie. Well, seeing the premiere. James, if you're gonna be a dick about it, send me the shirt. I'll wear it proud. I don't care what size it's in. I'll make it work. My mother thought she gifted me a cereal sample pack, which would be a great gift. Who doesn't love a cereal sample pack? Those are great. That's worth wrapping up. Turns out she gave me a six pack of cereal puzzles. I do not remember the last time I ever did a puzzle, and now I have one embarrassed mother. That's just a goddamn shame. But to be fair, you can't really blame your mother. This looks exactly like a standard cereal pack. It does have puzzle logos all over it, but besides that, you can't tell. My 12 year old received Christian romance novels from the church toy donation drive with such seductive titles as Smugglers in Amish Country and Secrets in an Amish Garden. I kinda wanna check out Crime Scene Cover Up because that one's clearly about arson. Those kids gotta learn young. Tiny jar of Nutella I can spread on two pieces of toast. And another thing, you know those stupid millennials, they like putting Nutella on toast too. Yeah, put that in our epic millennial jokes gift. Oh, Quinn, 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 Quinn. My mom got me this fantastic pen set. We're really stretching the definition of fantastic here. I work with a guy who loves pens. Maybe your guy would like these pens, because these pens have little messages written on them, Aaron. Are they motivational quotes? Sort of. Here, let me read them out to you, honey. There's wine in my coffee cup. Seriously, I can't even. <laughs> Venti vodka, please. Oh my god. I know you would, that's that's the problem. Is it Friday yet? Uh, oh, here you go, honey, this is you, this is you, ready? My brain has too many tabs open. <laughs> I hate I it. Just today. Oh yeah, she did, she came in, she came in stomping in the house tonight. What is stomping? Stomping, screaming, I have messy brain. So honey, you would love these pens. Gamers, please bow your heads for another sad submission this year. My mom got me a posture brace for Christmas, which is bad enough on its own, but what really hurts is that she labeled the box from Santa. Oh. You and your mom need to have a long talk. But honestly, that posture brace looks kinda cool. Real talk, trauma dump. I could have used that posture brace. I am overly cognizant and aware of my piss poor posture. This is real, because I'm, I'm constantly like stretching out my neck. I'm constantly doing this. I'm constantly like trying to like hup, hup, do that. Because guess what I do all day, gamers? Hunch over a computer and edit. Yeah, right, maybe once a week. Friggin' Statler and Waldorf over here, my God. Gamers, we have another sad gift. Tom writes, I got Lucky Charms and they were wrapped. They wrapped up the Lucky Charms. That's cruel. That's cruel. What's so cruel about that? Why would you wrap it up? Stocking stuffer's fine, but why would you wrap up cereal like a gift? It's not a gift. If they ask for it, Who's asking for Lucky Charms for Christmas? Tom, Tom, you can tell me. Did you ask for Lucky Charms for Christmas? If you did, you can't get mad, and it's actually super cute if they wrapped it up for you. If you didn't, let me know, and I will call Child Services. Child Protective Services, I'll call them both. My mom friend zoned me and gave me two right foot shoes. Thanks! I almost skipped this one, I didn't think it was real. There are, if you zoom in and enhance on the picture, there are tags on both of the shoes. These are new shoes. Your mom hates you, bruh. Skip the Naruto Shrek one. There's no way that's real. Because I didn't reverse Google image search this one yet, and this seems like a very easy picture and set of pictures to steal. I mean, it's a great picture. That's awesome. I love that. I just don't think it's real. I don't think you actually got this. I think you stole this from the World Wide Web. That's quite the accusation. It is, it is an accusation. <laughs> This god-awful calendar because I told my dad I like penguins. I feel like this is why my parents are divorced. So it's a calendar with psycho penguins. Oh, it's just like hot topic text everywhere. Allergic to humans. Oh no. Today's mood, cranky with a touch of psycho. Yeah, this is what they keep in the back of a hot topic next to all the edible lingerie. Woof. My wife got this from her mother. I've had a vasectomy. And it's option two compared to plan B. So this 
this is your mother-in-law's way of saying, I really don't want you two to have kids. It's a two-step punch. Is that a saying, a two-step punch? <laughs> Boy Smells Candle Set. Honey, have you ever heard of the brand Boy Smells? Okay, good. Just making sure I'm not missing something obvious. It's a it's a pack of candles called Boy Smells. What do you think Boy Smells smells like? Wet grass? Living with a boy who smells. <laughs> it probably smells a lot like gamer. I think Boy Smells smells like gamer socks. That's my guess. And not fresh socks either. Oh, this is one of the worst gifts I've seen. Hey, you know Wordle? What if it were a board game though? Wordle, the party game. Imagine gathering your friends and family to play a way stretched out version of that throwaway game that you spend a fraction of your time on. Oh, that's a big spider. Hold on, let me show you the spider. There he is. There's that sucker. Wait, you a spider? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. He's just like sharp and pointy. What? No, I'm gonna wait till he's inside your mouth. Because <laughs> funny. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. The worst gift of 2022. The Geek's Guide to Dating. Right off the bat, if you need a guide on dating, you're not doing great. Not a good sign. But the back of this book really uh, just cringed me right up. And hopefully it'll cringe you right up too. All your... <sighs> I can't, I can't, I can't even say this without losing years of my life. All your date are belong to us. Select your character. What kind of geek are you? Release the Kraken. How to ask someone out. Ready player one? Preparing for your date. The quickening during the date. And then my favorite, the fellowship of the ring. Exclusive dating and beyond. This is concentrated cringe. And someone gifted this to you. Hopefully your family, because that makes it way funnier. <laughs> Every sentence on the back of this book is just condescending and patronizing as hell. Let's dumb everything down and geek speak. Just an absolute Absolutely wretched gift to get this Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Once again, I didn't learn a damn thing, but the wine was good and the gifts were not. I'll see you guys again in 12 months. Mwah.